Hi you guys. So we are going to be looking at measuring worms today. This is something that you're getting in your kits. And you can see that it is a whole bunch of different sized worms. So there are some small worms, there are some large worms. Um, there's like purple and blue, all sorts of colors. Um, there's very tiny worms. And so you can see that there's quite a variety of them. Uh, they do, the size and the color don't seem to correspond. So for example, there can be small yellow worms and large yellow worms and stuff like that. So um, let's take a look at some of the math that we can do with some of these worms. So we can say, we can definitely hopefully see that kids might like put them in piles of sorting by color. I can imagine that. Uh, they might also start putting them in um, groups by size instead. So if we did it by color, look something like this. So I think the blue and the purple is hard to see the difference of. Um, we might end up with something like that. We might also see them putting all of the baby worms together. You know, they might start calling them like baby worms and um, all of the bigger ones together. And so then when you come along, we could be asked, we could ask some questions like, um, how many worms long is uh, this, this placemat? So then, well, um, it is this many long in green. Oh, I ran out of green. Um, it's about that many long in green worms. Um, here are some questions that you might ask a student that did this. Are all your worms the same size? So if there are one, two, three, four, five worms across there, uh, what if you do it with just all of the longest worms? Is it still five? No, now it's only four. Uh, trying to get at some of those like size and measurement conversations. What if you measure across the whole placemat with the same sized worms? So can you find all the same sized worms? Okay, well, these are all the same size. And what might you call that worm? It's kind of the medium sized worm. Okay, in medium sized worms, this placemat is five long. In the biggest worms, if we're measuring in big worms, Oh, it's only four and some, some part here, and we could talk about, then you could kind of get into, what would you call that part? If it's only, it's not really a whole worm long, what might you call that? So then they might get into the idea of, of half a worm. This might be one, two, three, three, and three quarters worms, really, but three and a half worms, um, or something like that. We might also be able to say, like let's say, um, well, let's replace that that one worm with little worms. So that was the um, the large ones, right? So if we have the large ones, then we could say, well, it's three large worms and almost three little worms too. Uh, try to think of some questions that you could ask kids uh, when using these measuring worms.